Hello, my name is Mike and I am back with another video, this time on working with asynchronous events in Ionic 2. When writing apps that are asynchronous, you're bound to run into issues where events and functions happen before you expect them to. Take for example, our app that we have over here. Our app loads a page, then we click a button and then show an alert. When we click the button in the alert, an async function gets called. Now when the async function returns a value, we'd like to close the pop-up and then go back to the first page. The way the code is currently set up though, this wouldn't happen. We can take advantage of promises though to make sure all of our events are queued up. First thing we want to do is to prevent the alert from closing by default. So we'll add a return fault in our handler. Then we'll want to build off our async function. Since our function is just returning a promise that gets resolved after some time, we can say this.data.load.then and start to build up the rest of our interactions. Inside our return promise, we want to dismiss the alert and then go back a page. The issue now is that when we return from our first promise, alert.dismiss and nav.pop don't know which order to run in. This is because the navigation system in V2 is also async. Since everything is async, the nav.pop could be called before alert.dismiss. So we need to make use of promises again to coordinate our events. We'll say alert.dismiss then, and inside of that, we'll call this.nav.pop. Now, when we go to the second page and click our alert, the first promise from data.load will resolve. Then our second promise of dismissing the alert will resolve. And then our final promise to go back to the first page will finish everything off. 